Hi there and welcome to my fifth tutorial on Visual C++ 2010 Express Edition and in this tutorial I will show you how to create strings and some of the methods used with strings and what strings represent. Okay, first of all I will want to talk about the main which I created here. The main is int this time which is new type of main and also when you use int main you need to return zero because int is numeric main so you always need to return zero at the end before we start uh, adding the strings and operate on them we need to um, include another li library and the library we need to include is simply string there it is So this is the library we need for the strings if we want them to work properly. And now, uh, what is string? You may say, well, it's a variable, but it's well, it's not a variable actually. It is a class, which means I can use more methods, more that the strings have more functions than any other variable because it's a class. For example, int. If I say int um, dot, you will see no menu. But if I say um, the string name dot something dot, and I will see whole menu of the of the functions I can use uh, to do something with the string. And um, I will show you this in a minute. But first of all, I will need to declare my string and also integer for further uh, presentation. I will number it. What well, I want to show you now what I mean by the by the functions you can use with string and with other variables you count. And so when I for example say number and I press dot, you see nothing. And um, there is no members a variable as you can see here. And um, because integer is just a container for the values, for the numeric values, whole numbers. But if I say name dot you will have this whole list of um, of functions or methods you can use with the string. Um, many of them will be not useful for you, but some of them are useful sometimes. For example, substring. It will um, if it, it will, when you use this, it will return um, uh, half of the strings. For example, it depends on the number you input in the brackets, but it will uh, return some of the string from on the original so yeah sometimes it's useful sometimes um, it's just useless I would say and um, length uh, is another I would say useful one as you can uh, convert the length to the number and you can say for example this not this word has six character it's six characteristics long so it's kind of useful and uh, other things like empty and data uh, copy clear loads of things you can go through this list if you want to I don't mind and um, but I don't know if you understand anything from this from this uh, it's kind of complicated but never mind um, let us let us do the strings first the basic way like normal variables so I will have an output and say please enter your name let's say and I will have input statement and that will be name so I have basic output statement please enter your name and basic input statement t t in and the variable name okay so I can just output it I can also add different things to the name for example uh, name is equal to name plus mm, let's say something like this oops I don't know if that will work it should work yeah so now when I see how this Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. The other string is 
and let's say name again oh, and line here because uh, okay uh, so when when I run this now okay please enter your name for example my name the string you have entered is Damien and the other string is Damien and plus the string I have added down and you will have the string connected to each other to uh, to create one so those are the basic uses uh, but you can also have different uses you can have something like a method which means it's much more complicated but also much more useful than, than simple uses you can say for example number is equal to name dot length I will show you length because I, I mentioned it uh, And now when I print it out the number, so C out, C out, and let's say uh, your word has number and character, I would say. So this time when I run this, hopefully works, hopefully works, and let's see. And you will see now the string uh, is Damien, my name. The other string is Damien plus down, and I didn't space this, but never mind. This is spaced in here, and your word has ten characteristics, so it will count all of those, not just this one at the beginning, but all of this because I have added here. So it will count all the uh, characteristics inside the strings. So I have ten characters pretty much useful if you want to find for example a specific character in the word or, or you want to find out what the length for example if you do the password some kind of and uh, for the page or and not, not the page but program with the password you may say well your uh, your password must be at least six characters long and this thing is pretty much helpful there another thing I wanted to show you is um, a substring and again, I will have another string, just uh, name2. And now name2 is equal to uh, name that substring. And now you have now you have the choice. You can either put a one value and uh, and it will print out from the value of the it's kind of hard to, to explain it but it will print out from the value you have entered and uh, to the end of the of the string so let me show you with one for example so and um, it will start at zero I will actually show you this because it's kind of complicated okay so I will put some kind of name and uh, again my name and uh, oh sorry I didn't print out <laughs> my mistake uh, so C out oh. uh, oh. substring and um, space this and name two oops two the substring name two now I will print it out okay so as you can see I don't have D at the beginning because I said uh, the value one, it always starts at zero. So if I say a zero, and uh, none of those words probably will be, and uh, those characters will be cutted. But if I say one, first character will be cutted. If I do, two characters, three, four, five, and so on. So you can see it's very, um, it's like um, you can create, for example, from one word with a substring, you can create another word, for example, um, I don't know down and when you cut the D you will have own and something like this but also you can have a second value here which will do something like this it will cut from the end and so when I run run this now and you will see it will cut and um, the third it will have range from the one first character 
to cut it up to the third one. So as you can see from the whole word, I have just Ami. So that's a substring and maybe some it, it may be sometimes useful when for example you want to find out as i said uh, if you want to find out some things but this one will not be um shown to you today as we would need to use uh, loops as for now we haven't covered um case statement yet so when the loops come i will show you more uh, functions with the strings you can use and um, but this is how you can use the strings at the beginning um, many basic uses as I said you can just print out you can add strings together as, like here you can check the length you can um, subtract and uh, sub substring do the substring stuff like this and uh, so it is pretty much useful um, next tutorial I don't know yet what, what this be and what this will be about and uh, probably some signs what signs you can use in in uh, C++ maybe or or, or maybe case statements I need to think uh, think about this all right so I think this is the end of this tutorial actually I visit my web page and YouTube channel if you like this you can subscribe uh, also and um, more tutorials still to come and I will see you next time bye